my name is Ever Graffio. I served as a full-time church minister from 1961 to retirement in the year 2000. Those were years of prophetic change in the community of Christ. It was not an easy period of time for members and leaders alike. Change was in the movement. At the same time, routine responses of many members did not change. One of the policies the church had changed was how it financially supported appointees in the field. People continued to follow the older policy at times. It always moved me when it happened. Standing at the door of the church after preaching, people would pass by and shake my hand. It was normally an elderly sister, as she shook my hand, would have in her hand a dollar or two, sometimes a $5 bill, and place it secretly in my hand as an expression of her gratitude for my being there and her support as I left. This direct giving to ministers was a vestige of an era when the elders' expense was supported directly from the field where the minister was serving. I had to learn to be a gracious receiver at those times, but I could also sense the utter joy those good sisters had knowing that they were supporting the ministry of the church through their support of me. In Jackson, Mississippi, the pastor, unknowingly to me, saw a hole in the sole of my shoe, and on Monday morning, before I left for another congregation, he said, we're going downtown and buy you some new shoes. It happened the same way in other places, with gifts of a suit, a tie, a tank full of gas for the car, washing my clothes. Members were generous in responding to the needs of those in full-time ministry, and I felt immediately their grateful support of my ministry as a disciple of Jesus. These moments of quiet, unselfish generosity expressing the gratitude of the saints remain one of the fondest memories of my 40 years of ministry some of the deepest relationships that continue in my life were formed as we shared our appreciation and gratitude for each other. Times have changed. Policies and organization structure and circumstances are vastly different, but the expression of our gratitude for the ministry of Christ expressed in the church has not changed. The witness of Christ must always be thought of in personal terms. The recent revelatory insight in scripture says, let gratitude show you the way. Such a simple phrase, but with such profound ramifications for life. Gratitude is a virtue that gives rise to grateful behavior without thought of self. It is feeling and expressing compassion for others. In retirement, I am discovering how to see life through the eyes of an artist. It is the awareness of seeing light and shadow, cool and warm colors, shapes and size, and then putting these together and they form the elements that create the masterpiece. In the same way, as I see God's world through the eyes of gratitude, I discover in the light and shadows of life, and in the mundane and the lofty, in the personal and organizational, the making of the masterpiece of our lives as God designed us to be. I feel closer to God when I'm expressing my thankfulness. Gratitude warms my spirit. And it is gratitude that shows us the way. Shows us the way to respond generously to neighbor and stranger, to conditions in the world, to creation itself, and specifically to the ministry of Christ in the world as expressed in and through the church. Gratitude moves us to express our time, our talents, and our treasure generously for the needs of others. Generosity and gratitude are inseparably connected. Gratitude is the foundational spirit of generosity. Generosity 
is an expression of gratitude. And without gratitude, there is no generosity. I might give of my treasure, but the benefit of giving of my time and talents and treasure brings me no pleasure or happiness to my soul. As I gratefully give today, I think of how individuals personally and secretly slipped me a dollar into my hand so many years ago. So as I place my tithe in the offering plate, I take pleasure that I am giving it to my brother Keith, to my sister Janae, to my friend Bunda, and to my son Steve, to my church and its worldwide ministry. The path begins with gratitude. Gratitude leads to generosity. Generosity moves us in compassion for others because of our gratitude. And as we respond, there is a birth of wonderful, soul-satisfying feelings of joy. We are that we might have joy, is the scriptural affirmation. The circle completes itself as our spirits are filled with joy. We find gratitude warming our souls, and we continue to expand our generous and compassionate response. Scripture goes on to say in regards to gratitude, live deeply and generously in Christ's spirit. That is the way that I intend to live my life. And I invite you to live a life of gratitude along with me and share generously of your time, talents, and treasure in support of the mission of Christ as expressed through the ministries of the church.